season greeting to you out there i hope you are good and we are back again to another tutorial thank you guys for your support on this channel thank you for everything you have done on this channel i appreciate you all on today's tutorial we are going to be making this beautiful style you are looking at up there so it's very very easy to cut and sew so the front or panel i will be measuring 20 inches for front panel and the back panel i'll be taking 20 inches for the back panel as well okay guys so this is the beautiful style we are making today so i'm taking my back measurement i have 15 inches for my back measurement so divided into two is giving me 7.5 and i'm marking it this way so the remaining allowance will serve as my extending shoulder so i have 20 inches for the both front and back 20 inches each so this is my half length i have 16 inches for the half length and the length of the top is 25 inches but i'm adding one inch for the or oh, elastic allowance because it's going to have elastic at that side so the wideness of my neck is 3.5 i chose 3.5 for the wideness of my neck and i want to come down for the depth of my neck so i'll choose three inches three inches is good because i don't want a lower neck okay i want to measure the ammo and i want to choose 12 inches so i'm marking on the point of 12 so here I'm coming down one inch for my shoulder slope. So one inch is fine for the shoulder slope. Okay guys, I'm connecting the shoulder slope to the wideness of my neck right here. So I'm connecting it with my chuck. okay i'm marking the wideness of my neck i'm connecting it together so i'm connecting it together All right, this is the ammo 12 inches and the 16 inches is my half length so 25 inches is my top length and i left with one inch for the elastic allowance So I'm marking it. Okay, I'm placing the cutter of my waist measurements. On my waistline, I have 32 inches for the waist. Divided into four, it's going to give me eight inches. And I'm adding one inch for his and two inches for the sewing allowance so making three inches so i had the three inches and i'm going to extend the three inches to the length so this is what i'm doing i'm connecting it okay i'm connecting my hammer to my waistline 
I'm all to my waistline and to the length of the top. So I'm connecting them together. I'm all half length and the length of the top we are making. Okay, I'm cutting the shoulder slope. I'm cutting it right here, my shoulder slope. All right, guys, I will start cutting from the length to the waistline and to my hammer. So this is what I'm cutting right here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm not going to cut the neck. The wideness of my neck and the depth of my neck, I'm not going to cut it because of the style we're making. So I'm going to open it for you to see. Because I want you to have better understanding. So I've opened it for you to see. So this is what I'm going to do. You know, I measure 3.5. So I located the middle before I located the middle before I opened it. So you know I measured three point five, so it's supposed to be seven inches. But because of the style we are cutting is like uh, it's like an off shoulder. So I'm not going to cut on the point of seven inches. So I will move away from that seven inches. I'm adding two or three inches to it. Because one shoulder, one side is going to stay at the shoulder, and the other side is going to is going to fall from the shoulder. So I'm marking. I'm marking from three point five to the nine inches so can you see so that is 3.5 so i did not cut on 3.5 no seven inches but i cut on nine inches so this is what i want to do i'll cut on that nine inches and you can extend your home if you don't want a wide neck so I'm okay with this nine inches. If you want wide neck, you can do um, 10 inches, 12 inches, depending on how you want it. So I'm cutting on the point of nine I made to the 3.5. Okay, guys, I've cut it. All right. I'm going to use my 0 0.5 to join the two shoulders together. And I will use 0 0.5 again to pipe the sleeve area both front and the back so this is what i'm going to do right here and i will sew the hammer from hammer to the length of the top so at the down part you know uh, i left one inch for the elastic so I will take 0 
and I will take 0 0.5 again. Then the elastic will pass through the hole. So I will use the elastic to gather it this way. Okay. So I want to cut that part. So I'm going to use the elastic at that point as well. So I'm using my elastic at the at that side and at the other side. So the neck I'm going to cut or facing and use it to pipe it both front and back. I'm cutting facing for the both front and back. Okay guys, so this is the uh, slanted shoulder top I made. So can you see, I gather this side with my elastic, like I said. So this is the damp part with elastic and the other sleeve. So this is the, I use uh, my facing to join the, the shoulder, both front and the back. So this is what I have. I hope you like this. Okay guys, this end of today's tutorial on my slanted shoulder top. This is very very beautiful. Can you see the sleeve? It's very very lovely. Can you see the shoulder? I told you if you want lower shoulder, you could go lower than mine. So this is very very beautiful. And easy to cut and sew. Like this video. Share and subscribe to my channel if you are here too. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get you notified as I'll be uploading my new videos. Thank you for watching.